Oh, Xbox. No, you didn't. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with the video you already know the vibes give it a thumbs up let's crush 300 likes for this video do it right now destroy that like button bro we have some insane news today first xbox is serious about game pass you can say what you want about their hardware strategy trying to sell consoles. You can say what you want about their lack of exclusives, but they really want those Game Pass subscriptions. And they've snagged one from the big end, the most unlikely of places. That's right, Octopath Traveler. A former Nintendo console exclusive is now coming to Xbox Game Pass March 25th. That is 10 days away. In a week and a half, you can play this game on Xbox with achievements. And so this is huge. Now, this is hot off the heels of an, an even bigger announcement, in my opinion, Outriders coming to Game Pass, a huge AAA game coming day and date at launch on Game Pass. This puts pressure on PlayStation and PlayStation Plus, in my opinion. Now, to give to give Sony credit where credit is due, they just gave out Final Fantasy VII. And if you put both games next to each other, Outriders, Outriders Final Fantasy VII, critically acclaimed Final Fantasy VII was a game of the year and so sony is still delivering not with the subscription front as far as a monthly subscription for games but through their online services but breaking news octopath traveler a former nintendo console exclusive will now be on game pass and i have to say this i think all three console platform holders can carve out their own way, lane and be successful this coming generation. Sony, traditional, hardcore, home console. PS5, killing it. They kill it every generation. Nintendo, the handheld market, they have that on lock. And Xbox, a new strategy with subscription services. Let's see how it works out for them, but when they all win, we benefit as gamers because Sony is seeing this and be like, you know what? We gotta do something for our fans. Nintendo sees this, we gotta do something for our fans. So it's a win-win situation for us as gamers, but this is great news nonetheless. But the next news item, Sony has a new exclusive in the works a top secret exclusive and i can't wait to see what they reveal this is coming from laptopmag.com and the article title is ps5 just got a new exclusive and here is what we know sony has just bought haven a newly formed studio headed by jade raymond for those of you who don't know who this is, it's a, a, a lady, who she is. She previously worked on Ubisoft's biggest games. And so they tapped that gaming studio. They have um, um, purchased, is done investing in independent properties. Haven, a new firm studio working on it. Yeah, they have um, partnered with this studio to work on an exclusive PS5 game and so 
this is the description of the game what we have so far i was just skimming through the article but it says they plan on making the game a game where players can i quote escape have fun express themselves and find community and so we don't know exactly what the game is but those are the only clues we have and so sony is just 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 um partnered to um with this studio haven and they are working on an exclusive title for playstation according to this article um haven is working on an exclusive title for sony can't wait to see what it is exclusives are always great S surprise mystery titles are always great and so we'll have to wait and see bro now sony has already confirmed playstation vr 2 is in the works and xbox is not sitting by idly a new report from ign italy has leaked a xbox vr set this is coming from comicbook.com and twitter user nibble nibelian reports that ign italy reports that after plugging their new xbox wireless headsets into the console the system asks them to update their vr headset meaning that some kind of vr headset functionality will be coming to an xbox console near you dope 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 stuff bro the news train keeps on chugging tiger woods is back in gaming and this is a low-key shady move by 2k in the past ea partnered with tiger woods to make the tiger wood line of golf games similar to madden it was tiger woods but since all of tiger woods off um field controversy ea decided to drop his name from their franchise but 2k has picked up as partnered with tiger woods to put his name on their golf games now last year 2k made their first golf game um P pga tour 2k21 and the next iteration will have tiger woods on the name and so it's going to be tiger woods pga tour 2k we don't know what the official title will be but tiger woods had sealed the deal with 2k to put his name back in golfing tiger says put respect on my name he's one of the goats bro in spite of his off-field shenanigans he's one of the goats bro fortnite season six is a thing brand new trailer fortnite season six has started i have to say i fell off after four, um season five i haven't touched fortnite all season long lara croft tomb raider tomb raider that's right is now in fortnite but i have to say this and i tweeted this out on twitter make sure you follow me on twitter i said once fortnite has a mode where there's no building and only shooting i'll be back in fortnite until then i'm on call of duty multiplayer bruh bro some dope news man and so what do you guys think of game pass xbox is serious with game pass man they're becoming more and more aggressive because up until this point game pass has just been first party day and date launch games now we have outriders a big triple a game and octopath traveler octopath traveler a former nintendo console exclusive is now coming to game pass dope 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 news today all right dudes what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bro we out boy